Readings for the day, 2022 on Sunday, November 13th. Readings from the regular cycle, the epistle, 22nd Sunday. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Galatians. Brethren, see with what large letters I am writing to you with my own hand. It is those who want to make a good showing in the flesh that would compel you to be circumcised, and only in order that they may be per- that they may not be persecuted for the cross of Christ. For even those who received circumcision do not themselves keep the law, but they desire to have you circumcised, that they may glory in your flesh. But far be it from me to glory except in the cross of Lord Je- of our Lord Jesus Christ, by which the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. For neither circumcision counts for anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creation. Peace and mercy be upon all who walk by this rule, upon the Israel of God. Henceforth, Let no man trouble me, for I bear on my body the marks of Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brethren. Amen. The Gospel, 8th Sunday of Luke. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, a lawyer stood up to put Jesus to the test, saying, Teacher, What shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read? And he answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, You have answered right. Do this and you will live. But he, desiring to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell among robbers, who stripped him and beat him and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a priest was going down the road, and when He saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion, and went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he set him on his own beast and brought him to an inn and took care of him and the next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper saying take care of him and whatever more you spend I will repay you and when I uh, I will repay you when I come back which of these three which of these three do you think proved uh do you think proved neighbor to the man who fell among the robbers he said the one whom showed mercy on him and jesus said go and do likewise the readings for the commemoration 2022 november 13th the memory of saint john chrysostom the readings from vespers the previous evening the remembrance of the righteous <clears throat> The remembrance of the righteous in his eulogy uh sorry the remembrance of the righteous is with eulogies the blessing of the lord is upon the head of a righteous man blessed is a man who finds wisdom and a mortal who sees discernment for the prophets uh, for the prophets gained from wisdom are better than the treasures of gold and silver Wisdom is more valuable than precious stones, and nothing evil will withstand her. She is well known to all who come near her, and no honor is worthy of her. Righteousness proceeds from her mouth, 
and she carries law and mercy upon her tongue. Now, therefore, my son, hear me. Blessed is the man who shall hearken to me, and the man who shall guard my ways. For my issues are the issues of life, and grace is prepared for the Lord. Uh, grace is prepared from the Lord. You, O oh men, I exhort, and I utter my voice to the sons of men. I, wisdom, dwell with counsel, and I call upon knowledge and understanding. Counsel and safety are mine, discernment is mine, and strength is mine. I love those who love me, and those who seek me shall find me. Understand astuteness, O simple ones, and put it in your heart, O un uninstructed ones. Obey me, for I speak sacred things, and from my lips I will bring forth things that are true. From my mouth shall speak the for my mouth shall speak the truth, but false lips are an abomination before me. All the words of my mouth are with righteousness. There is nothing in them crooked or twisted. All things are evident to those who understand and true to those who find knowledge. Therefore, I teach you a true word and good knowledge to be obeyed, that you might answer words of truth to those who question you that your hope might be in the Lord, and the one who guards it will be filled with the Spirit. Though a righteous man may die before his time, he shall be at rest. For old age is not honored for its length of existence, nor measured by its number of years, but discernment is gray hair for mankind and a spotless life is the maturity of old age. There was once a man pleasing to God and loved by him, and while living among sinners he was taken up. He was caught up, lest evil change his understanding or deceit deceive his soul. For envy arising from lack of judgment obscures what is good, and a whirling of desires undermines an innocent heart. He was made perfect for it, for in a short time he fulfilled long years, for his soul was pleasing to the Lord. Therefore he took him early from the midst of evil. Yet people saw this but did not understand nor take such a thing at heart, or such a thing to heart, that the Lord's grace and mercy are with his elect, and that he watches over his holy ones. The mouth of a righteous man distills wisdom, the lips, of a right, the lips of righteous men distill grace, but the mouth of the humble meditates on wisdom, the righteousness of upright men delivers them. When a righteous man dies, his hope does not perish. A righteous son is begotten unto life. A good man eats from the fruits of righteousness. Light is with the righteous continually, and they, and they will find grace and glory from the Lord. The tongue of the wise understands good things. There is wisdom in the heart. Uh, there is wisdom in the good heart of a man. The Lord loves holy hearts, and all the blameless are acceptable to Him. Wisdom is radiant. Uh, Wisdom is radiant and unfading. She comes upon those who long to know her beforehand and is easily perceived by those who love her. He who rises early in the morning to seek her will not grow weary, and he who keeps watch for her will soon be free from worry because she goes, she goes about seeking those worthy of her and she appears to them favorably in their paths. Evil cannot overcome wisdom. I became a lover of her beauty. I loved her and sought her from my youth, and desired to take her as a bride for myself. The master of all loves her, for she is the initiate of the knowledge of God, and one who chooses his works. 
The products of righteousness are the virtues, for wisdom teaches self-control, discernment, righteousness, and courage, concerning which things there is nothing more valuable in life, in the life of a man. But also, if anyone longs for great experience, she knows the things of old and portrays the things to come. She understands subtlety of words and the solution of riddles. She has foreknowledge of signs and wonders and the outcomes of times and seasons. And to all, she is a good counselor. In, kin in kinship with wisdom, there is immortality and in the fellowship of her words there is good repute. So I entreated the Lord and besought him, and with all my heart I said, O God of our fathers and the Lord of mercy, who made all things by your word and in your wisdom built a man, that by you he might be the master of what is created, and manage the world in holiness and righteousness. Give me the wisdom that sits by your throne, and do not reject me from among your servants, because I am your servant and the son of your maidservant. Send forth from your holy heavens and send her from your glorious throne, that she might be present with me in labor, and she will guide me wisely in my actions and guard me with her glory. For the reasoning of mortals is cowardly and, her, and our intents are unsafe. The Epistle for the Saints. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Brethren, it was befitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, blameless, unsustained. Uh, brethren, it is it was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, blameless, unstained, separated from sinners, exalted above the heavens. He has no need for those high priests to offer sacrifice daily, first for his own sins and then for those of the people. He did this once and for all when he offered up himself. Indeed, the law appoints men in their weakness as high priests, but the word of the oath, which came later than the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. Now the point in what we are saying is this. We have such a high priest, one who is seated at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven, a minister in the sanctuary, and the true tent, which is set up not by man, but by the Lord. The Gospel for the Saint. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Lord said, I am the door. If anyone enter, enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. He who is a hireling and not a shepherd whose own the sheep are not, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. He flees because he is a hireling and cares, noth and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. As the Father knows me and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And if I have other sheep that are not of this fold, I must bring them also, and they will heed my voice. So there shall be one flock, one shepherd. It is appropriate to stand for the reading of the Synaxarion. Synaxarion from the Manion. On November 13th, we commemorate our father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople. We also commemorate the holy new monastic martyr, Damaskinos of Constantinople, who witnessed 
in Constantinople in the year 1681. By the intercessions of St. John Chrysostom, Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Christ is risen. Go to church.